Welcome to January 2024 at Builders with God Ministry. This month is dedicated to prayer and preparation and our theme is gaining strength for the long stretch. Come alongside our community of kingdom laborers as we press into the Holy Spirit on this journey of building capacity for all that is to come. Hi there, good morning. Welcome to this podcast. This is the 24th day in which I've been gaining strength for the long stretch. It has really been a blessing on my end. I hope it, all, it has also been on your end too. My name is Goodness Ola Olua, and today I'll be focusing on ministry's work first and the works ahead. A very good place to start to be Matthew 9 and verse 37, reminding ourselves of what our Lord Jesus Christ said. He said the harvest is ripe. As some transitions we put it, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. And this establishes a fact that since the days of our Lord Jesus Christ, the harvest has never been the problem. It has always been the short supply of laborers. And that also means to us the current workforce of Christ here on earth that there is a lot of ground to cover. There is a lot of work to be done. And not just about doing the work, it's about doing it acceptably. And one very good example for us to see how the how to and do the work of Christ, how to be an acceptable work, worker in this workforce, will be to look at our perfect example, the Lord Jesus Christ, which I like to call head of the workforce. In John 4 and verse 34, it says, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to completely finish his work. So two things stand out in this verse. It's not about just doing the work, but to finish the work, that is staying till the end. And the other thing that is also standing out here is that, Christ saw the Father's will as his food, which is which here means his source of sustenance, which means if he has eaten and he has not done the will of the Father, he's as good as he is dead, he's as good as he is not living. So the perspective in which Christ took the work of the Father was a resolute one, it was one that he was going all hands in, that this is an important, in fact, it is his life. You know, it is his life. And why did Christ undo it? Why did Christ have to see it this way? Apostle Paul went right into Timothy in Second Timothy verse two from verse uh, chapter two from verse one. He gave us some perspective, and I would like to read that and amplify it quickly. So you, my son, be strong, constantly strengthened and empowered in the grace that is to be found only in Christ Jesus. The things, the doctrines, the precepts, the admonitions, the sum of my ministry, which you have heard me teach in the presence of many witnesses, and trust as a treasure to reliable and faithful men who will also be capable and qualified to teach others. Take with me your share of hardship, passing through the difficulties which you are called to endure. Like a good soldier of Christ, no soldier is no soldier in active service gets entangled in the ordinary business affairs of civilian life. He avoids them so that he may please the one who enlisted him to serve. Verse 3 says, Take with me your share of hardship. Apostle Paul now reveals that you have to understand that when you are being called into the workforce, part of a job, job description is to endure hardship. So hardship is going to come. It's not a matter of if it's going to come or not. It is going to come. But he says our response should be to endure hardship. That is not to run away, not to give up. And that is why it is important that we complete it. So it's, it's a good thing to start, but the perfect thing is to complete it. And to complete it means hardship will come on the way. And our response to that hardship should be to endure it and apostle paul also gives us insight on how to endure it like tips to endure it and that's funny the first verse which says so you my son be strong constantly strengthened and empowered in the grace that is to be found only in christ jesus so the strength or the gaining of strength is found in the grace that can only be found in christ jesus which i believe was initiated when we said yes to the call of god when we said yes to salvation and he says it's a continuous thing he says constantly strengthening and for us to keep it constant for us to keep gaining strength for that long stretch for all the sufferings that will come that he has asked us to endure the way to get strength for that endurance is when we constantly walk with the lord when we constantly keep a relationship with god when our life stems from the relationship we have with god that is when we can have strength to endure because these things are not things we can hide or run away from as humans they are things that are constant and must happen but christ here is saying that we are to endure apostle paul here is saying that we are to endure these things and the only way to endure it is when we gain strength when we get strength when we draw strength 
from our relationship, our fellowship, our sanctification to Christ. That is the strength that is able to make us endure the hardship that comes and this is just rephrasing what christ said in matthew that he says seek ye first the kingdom of god and all other things will be added and this is that shows that all other things are also important but once you give yourself to seeking the kingdom the other things get sorted god takes it as his responsibility so this morning i'm charging and reminding us again as workers in god's vineyard that when we are privileged we can't be privileged to be in this in this workforce but we shouldn't forget that it is to the end it is still the end it is still the end to bring it to completion and for us to be able to do this that's to stem from a healthy relationship with christ so brethren take i admonish us again to take our relationship serious this year take our building our personal relationship with god serious this year because that is where we can gain strength for indeed the long stretch thank you for tuning in god bless you have a lovely day thank you for joining in on today's episode of this podcast Join us again, same time, same place tomorrow for another insightful episode. God bless you.